There are four valves in the heart and they are designed to be one-way valves. Open up all the way and let the blood pass. Close all the way and let none of it go backwards. One of the valves, the aortic valve, can often get stenotic. That's simply a fancy medical term that means the valve doesn't open well. There's no medicine we can give to a patient to make their aortic valve suddenly start to open. And because of that, patients who do not get surgery, oftentimes the longevity is very short. Only 50% of those patients survive two years once they become severe and once they are symptomatic. And for that reason, we've looked for another way to treat these patients other than the open heart procedure. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, commonly called TAVR, T-A-V-R, is a way to replace an aortic valve and avoid major surgery, the typical up and down incision in the breastbone. The uh, industry has been able to create a valve that can squish down to a very small size and be fed through a catheter. That allows us to perform minimally invasive valve surgery in patients that aren't otherwise candidates. The procedure is a wonderful procedure in that they come into the hospital often very sick, very short of breath, and after the procedure now have a new valve inside of their previous valve typically go home in a few days and are not short of breath and their lifestyle can improve significantly. The return to normal day-to-day -day activity is a lot quicker than with the up and down incision and the sternotomy and the bone uh, needing to heal afterwards. Uh, so patients have much less restriction on them after they leave and therefore because of that can return to their normal daily activities a lot quicker. And that's been one of the tremendous benefits of town. One of the things I find so enjoyable about working at Doylestown Hospital is the commitment to excellence uh, from many areas, administration, staff, nursing, physician. Uh, and the TAVAR program, I think, is a good example of that. Doylestown Hospital and Heart Institute have been uh, at the forefront of many leading technologies that we have wanted to offer here in the community without having to leave to go downtown. And that requires a commitment that is above and beyond the standard